Oh, hi there. Hello. Thanks for coming to me playing Hearthstone and losing with the Hunter. We got our rare turn one boss here. Level one boss, I should say. Bink the Thief. The one time I have fought him on camera was the one time in my life I've ever lost on level one. So I'm hoping I can learn from past mistakes and actually beat him. Now, as a Hunter, I should have a better shot at it because I only need five steady shots to kill him. And any two damage that I do reduces that by one. I'm gonna keep the hounds because he does tend to play out a decent number of minions. So this might help me get the finishing touches on. So I don't face the same humiliation that I faced when I was a shaman against this asshole. Okay, cut purse. Lots of coins for you, I guess. Okay. So there's that. Now I just need three steady shots. I mean, I don't even need three steady shots. What am I talking about? I just eat bow and I hit him in the face twice. That's all I really need. As long as he doesn't have any taunts, which he might or might not. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. He's not going to kill me, is he? Seven damage. He needs six more damage from the hand. I doubt he can do that. Famous last words, of course, but I, uh, I don't know what he could do for to deal six damage. I mean, obviously, there are things like double eviscerate or whatever, but that shouldn't happen. Aha, uh -huh. a burgly bully. Well, that's totally fine. Whew. <laughs> have to admit, I was a little bit nervous. All right, let's... Uh... Give me some coins. You want some coins? You can have some coins. Have some coins. Enjoy your goddamn coins, asswipe. All right. So, last time I lost with the captured flag. That was just sad. But I did have a really crappy first treasure that... Well, it wasn't really crappy. I stand by it, but it wasn't like a top-notch first treasure. But here we get a captured flag as the first treasure. So I'm feeling much better about things. Okay. Death Lord... Not exactly what I want. Nesting rock. Not exactly what I want. All right, we're going to do this, even though I'm not a big fan of it, because the bear trap and the wandering monster are both more effective with the captured flag, and I think explosive trap is just excellent in general, so we'll do that. And kind of hold off on making any uh, committal decisions. One thing I didn't realize, that, that three-mana minion that's a 2-2 two -two that spawns a number of rats equal to its attack is actually really good when you have the captured flag because normally it makes two one one rats but if you have the captured flag it makes three two two rats which is actually like really incredible it's like a better savannah high main basically this is actually a pretty nice opening and i'm going to keep everything so what i can do here is i can hit his face with the boar on turn one do it do it for three damage on turn two with the wolf and then i can play the explosive trap later not really for any damage but just to trigger his counter spell for only a couple of mana and prevent him from mounting any kind of a defense. Okay. All is going according to plan here. He makes a counter spell. And then just to seal the deal, I go boink, boink, and I play a secret. So it gets countered. But then he only has one mana to work with, and I win on turn four. Flawless victory! Click, 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 click. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get some more cards. I'm trying to see if I can get a better direction for this deck from this next card pack. My first pick was solid but non-committal. What do we got here? Terrible card. One of the worst cards in all of Hearthstone. This thing's okay, this thing's okay. Five mana minions. I really hate taking five mana minions. I'm gonna be honest with you, because as good as these all are, it just sucks if you get the Scepter of Summoning, and, and even if you don't, I mean, it's like you got some five mana minions, but when your minions all have plus one, plus one, you don't need to spend five mana on a minion to get good stats. I guess we're going for this. These are, this is weak, because I don't have any big min, big beasts, but Hounds is great when they're all 2-2s, two and then the Haunted Creeper is great, because it's a 2-3, and it spawns 2-2. Two so I feel like it works well with what I'm cooking in the kitchen at the moment. 
And it seems like I've been getting captured flag a little more lately, so maybe I was I was on a witch hunt. Maybe I was wrong in saying that Blizzard tweaked it down, because maybe I was just on a statistically unlikely streak of not seeing that one particular treasure. I mean, I could go for, like, days without seeing the small frickin' backpack and not give a shit. You just only notice when you don't get the ones that you really care about. I decided to mulligan away the Hunter's Mark. I don't think I'm gonna need it against this boss. This boss is the one with healing. And its hero power is worse because my minions all have plus one attack. You know, normally if you can get a minion's attack down to zero, you stop it from attacking completely, but she's gonna have to do that at least twice to the same minion to get that effect here. Okay, so I don't really see much of a point in throwing away my pig. Let's just hit her in the face. Let her take the value trade and then keep on hitting the face. All right, interesting. I would have actually gone for the spider here because this way I can still kill your guy with my creeper if I want. Um, in fact, sure, I will do that. Um, and you did you sort of wasted your hero power. Yeah, 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 there's the flash heal. You got another one, you don't have the other one, okay. Still got dragons in the hand, fine. Guess I'll take the time to develop an explosive trap. Panther was a fine move. I'm pretty sure pretty much anything wins at this point. Feed, Feed. yeah. It's a little too slow there. Definitely too slow. Hit the face, hit the face, hit the face. Come on, yeah, that's it. All right. That's another quick one. Man, with the hunter and the captured flag early on, you can just have such nice quick wins and really sail up there, which is why I like playing hunter. With the steady shot and the stuff, you can get up there so fast and maybe lose the final boss through, but you feel solid all the way doing it. All right, what do we got? Oh, tough one. Candle's obviously great. I mean, you can't deny the candle. The shifting hourglass, though, especially if you're in a racing situation, is really strong. I do have two explosive traps, so I have more than the average amount of removal, I guess. I'm going to take the hourglass. I know it may seem weird. I'm sure a lot of people will take the candle there, but I like that extra turn. Okay, what do we got? We got more secrets. Let's see. Actually, I don't mind this. This is sort of a minion. This is good removal. What, are, what else are my options? Death rattle. I see. Death rattle. And oh, this is a wacky little thing. And then these legendaries are actually pretty solid ones. Maybe not your charge, because I don't have that much big stuff in my deck. But these two are really, really good, especially Dr. Boom and everything else, plus one, plus one. So I'm kind of tempted by that, especially if I get the Scepter of Summoning. This is a nice little package. But I'm actually going to grab the secrets. Let's go for the, the fast approach here. And um, yeah, having that free, uh, well, not free, but the, the two mana Panther, who's actually a 5-3, can be really, really good. And maybe if I am offered the Scepter of Summoning, I'm going to regret that I didn't uh, take that really expensive minion package. But on the other hand, you know, if I end up taking a different treasure, I'm not going to mind. Okay, Deadly Shot I think you have to keep. I'm actually going to keep all of this because what you want is to clear out his board and then have a way of killing his big minions that he's going to be summoning. And this kind of does all that for you. The Wandering Monster and the Freezing Trap take out uh, any minions that he might play early on. And then on turn three, you can just play Deadly Shot and kill something. This is actually a pretty nice top deck as well. Uh, let me see what's better. I guess Freezing Trap, maybe? Because most of his minions are poisonous, so you don't particularly want Wandering Monster, because, I mean, yeah, you'll kill it, but it'll also kill you, whereas Freezing Trap just puts it in the hand. All right, uh, let's do Deadly Shot. Get started right away. I could have, I guess, done hounds, huh? Maybe that would have been smart. Okay, now I have to really think about this. Well, let's do this. Maybe give him a chance to play some more stuff. I kind of want to trigger a secret before I play the hounds. Because if it's snake trap, you know... Yeah, let me actually trigger the secret. Oh, that's, I should have put this on the left. Because the hounds summoned to the right. That was a big bit of a mistake. Because if it is Snake Trap, yeah, then I'm going to get a lot more a lot more puppet dogs. I actually don't even have enough room for all the dogs that I am owed. But that's fine. I'll still get five of them. Okay. So now, um, let's... 
let's just kill these off. And I don't want to hit his face because this could be explosive trap. So I guess I will go ahead and use up my direwolf alpha to kill another one of these statues. Keep his mana down. Shoot, I'm kind of annoyed that this is probably an explosive trap, which I guess just means that I... Oh no, it could be a bear trap. Uh, I don't know if he necessarily even has explosive trap. But fine, we'll, uh, we'll do this. Keep that mana down. You know what? I don't actually even want to trigger a bear trap at the moment. So what I'm going to do is this and play the big dumb beast. If I'm going to trigger a bear trap, I want to have this thing around to kill it. Wait, I'm an idiot. He's going to do this and he's going to kill my thing. Oh, right, I have a freezing trap in play. Accidentally played correctly. Okay, cool. So now we do what? Kill this. And I still don't really want to attack his face. I don't want that bear trap to come out. This is not the time yet, I think, for the shifting hourglass. So we'll just take the time to develop an explosive trap and then pass. All right, he's got another secret coming out. Next turn is the turn. And I will then die because the wandering monster saves me from only one of them. Okay, do I play this? If I do that, I need to kill one of these this turn. Right? Uh, technically, you don't have to kill it, because one of them is going to be wandering monstered, and then the other two could die as long as they've taken at least three damage. Or if I Hunter's Mark, but I can't Hunter's Mark and play Kathrena. Well, I can throw the beast away, it just kind of feels bad, but alright. Okay. Well, I gotta do what I gotta do now, because otherwise I'm dead. All right, you get a cobra. That's kind of annoying. I don't particularly want the cobra killing my big old seven seven. Um, and the cobra does not die to the explosive trap. So all right, I guess you get a good trade out of your cobra. I would have rather that been a snake trap, but then again, I guess he has already played a snake trap. Oh, he was going to silence the his minions. I should have realized that. I messed up. He was going to silence his minions, so the cobra was not going to be poisonous anymore. Ah, that was a mistake. Okay, so now I believe he's going to get a bear trap. Yeah. Okay. Guess we'll kill the bear. Um, let's do that, that, and I guess now we'll take an extra turn. Have to wait for the animation to finish. Okay, and then that's honestly kind of close. Maybe I shouldn't have done it that way, because when you wait for his guys to attack you, they get silenced, and not only do they attack, but they also don't cost him a mana crystal when they die. Probably should have just, I probably should have just killed it. And not let it not dicked around. So anyway, that was a win. A win's a win. So now we got some stuff. Uh, with all these secrets, I could actually consider taking Mad Scientist. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I'll have six. It's a choice. Got two legendaries. I was offered these two before. The other time I had like Yashar in here or something or Catherina. And I think Leroy is better because he gives me some uh, end game potential. And then here... This would be really good if I ended up getting the spell damage robe next. This would be 5 damage, this would be 7 damage, and this would be 5 damage to 3 minions. So this is really tempting. But I like the secrets package here. These are 3-3s. Three I get secrets out, thin my deck. I'm going to do it. I haven't really ever done secrets before, but secrets plus the... Uh, what's it face? Captured flag. Seems like a pretty good combo. And plus, there's no guarantee that I'm going to see the robe. So one thing that I'm doing here with my choices is I'm actually kind of staying treasure neutral. And I can just take whatever treasure I want. I haven't taken a bunch of expensive minions, so I don't care if I don't get the Scepter of Summoning. I haven't taken a whole bunch of otherwise mediocre spells. So I'm not going to, um, you know, be sad if I don't get the robe. Who knows? Maybe I'll even get another captured flag. Well, now that I'm mulligan into junk, I wish I'd kept the Wandering Monster. 
I just kind of hoped that maybe I'd actually get something that's a little better. Nope, not a chance. All right. So that's how it's going to be. Come on, can I get a secret? Well, all right. I'll take it. This is better than a wandering monster on turn two anyways. All right, that's a little bit annoying, actually. But I can clear this in two different ways, even. Let's be more mana efficient, even though this does waste, you know, some of the damage potential. It uses my mana more effectively, and I think that's better in the long term. Okay, so we're still in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and play a big dumb beast. Use the other tick of my weapon, which is nice. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how this is going, so now I can just bide my time, basically. Until I can play Catherina. Nice. That's a good little pickup here. So now I can just flood the board. This is getting better and better. And I've actually been drawing it a decent amount. I often have a problem is that I don't draw my treasure in time. Okay, this is a really nice little top deck here. Okay, Leok's a good one. Leok and Huffer were both good. The only annoying one would have been the taunt. But as it is, he's pretty much dead. If he's not dead already, then he will be when I use take an extra turn. Okay, that's all very cute. That's all very cute, but you're dead. Okay, so we do this. Send the minions to the face. And indeed, that was not quite lethal. So I guess that treasure was basically, you know, three mana deal of damage. It's a three mana moon fire. But hey, sometimes a three mana moon fire is all you need. All right. So now we're going to get another card pack. Let's see what I can do now. Or no, wait, not a card pack, a treasure. Okay. Well, this is great. I'm really happy about this because I didn't get the Rod of Summoning or the Cloak. Oh, it's a tough one. Oh my god, this is tough. So, obviously, there's a lot of value to having this. Prevents a lot of removal cards. Once, like, single target removal helps me just pound the face. This is good, though, because it also helps me pound the face in a somewhat less committal way. It just helps me pound the face and win the race. And then the secrets, those are just fun. You know what? This may seem a little bit crazy. I'm going to grab the secrets. These have been surprisingly helpful. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, what do we got here? Um, not that good. And not that good either. Ooh, that's a good one. Kind of annoyed to have another one of her, but this is a really nice one drop. So do I do this to get an extra one drop? Do I do this to have another secret? Although these are really crappy. Or do I just take some removal? Let's go for the one drop here. Animal Companion's not bad. Katrina, I definitely don't want a second copy of. But having, um... The potential to have two two twos on turn one, I think, is really nice. And I'm really glad to have the secrets against this boss because he's the one that damages a minion for one damage, one of his own minions, and gives it plus five attack. Starting with some secrets can be really effective. All right. I think I want... Let's just keep this all. I could mulligan trying to find the alley cap, but these are really good. I'm going to start with three secrets. And I figure that I can disrupt him enough to just start to pound his face a little bit. Wow, three hunter secrets randomly. All right, they're good ones too. I am happy with all these. In fact, these are all in my deck. It's amusing. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is... Um, I'm going to play this. He's going to attack with it, and it's going to get frozen. And this actually works out rather nicely Ooh, that's a good pickup holy crap it's gonna attack with this it's gonna get frozen so it's not gonna trigger its death rattle sadly my councilman is gonna die to his fiery war axe but I'm still pretty happy with how this all turns out because now I can develop a 3-3 get some face damage on He's going to have to kill that wandering monster. Replay this, but I can kill it now. And he's just really far behind. Yeah, this is good. So kill it. 
Develop the seek. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think I want to be missing my steady shots. Because I can always play this later, but the steady shot I don't take now is one that I'll never take. So yeah, I want to make sure that I take every steady shot that I can. Okay, this is good. Because this is going to die to my explosive trap. And yes, it'll spawn a dinosaur, but I just feel like by then it's going to be too late. I could have even considered playing Unleash the Hounds there and hit him in the face for four, but I'm gambling this is going to do more damage later, because what's he going to do? He's going to clearly get a dinosaur this turn, and he's probably going to also play some other minions, because he's got tons of mana now. Of course, he attacks after playing all of his minions, so this stuff all dies, so I guess it doesn't quite work out as I might have hoped. And he strangely gets a shit ton of armor from this Armorsmith. Yeah, maybe I should have put the two two dogs on while I had the chance. Shoot. That might have been better, because then they, they would be here, continuing to do damage. Well, at least I got Cat Trick from the Battle Rage, so there's that. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what? Let's just keep it real simple. Take the time to Deadly Shot. Make a couple of 2-2s. Two and just keep it real slow and steady. This is a difficult boss to control, but I'm getting tons of damage on. He has no board. I've still got Bear Trap to protect me a little bit if I need the protection. And, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. In fact, can I win? What do we got here? 5, 7, 9, 11, 14, 18, 21 damage? Yep, that's what that is. Hmm. Okay. I am going to take a very small gamble, which is that he cannot kill me through Bear Trap with... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to do this, just in case. Maybe if he got some... Uh, like, round-the-clock damage effect more than once, he could have actually uh, killed me with the Frothing Berserker. As it is, any sort of whirlwind effect will now kill it. I think probably I didn't need to worry about him actually one turn killing me, but just to be safe, it didn't really hurt. Alright, yeah, we're fine. Didn't even need my Bear Trap or the Hourglass. That would have been nice to have last turn. All right, that was good. So we got a pretty easy set of wins there. Let's get some more cards. Now I get a card first. What do we got? More freezing traps and that guy. This is a good card. Call the Wild's a good card. I do not want Catherine a number three. Why do you keep doing this to me? I mean, with my minions having plus one plus one, it's fine even if it gets a small minion. Definitely don't want these guys. So I could just take more freezing traps. It's a really good protective card. Obviously against King Togglewoggle and his giant boards, it's a little bit less impressive. Professor Putricide seems like it might be kind of fun. But I'm not sure how reliable I can actually pull that off. Okay. We're going to take the summoner. Call the Wild gives me some good reach. And uh, Kathrena, terrible as she is, is still not awful as a 7-7 for 8 mana that pulls a beast out that, even if it's like an alley cat, is still like a 2-2. And it might be the big dumb beast and, you know, be a little bit more than just awful. Okay, we got the Jiru. It'd be really funny if I lost, because this is the boss that I've said is the closest thing to a free win that you can get. Alright, this is pretty nice. I'm trying to remember if she plays any... Crap, I can't remember if she plays any spells. I don't know how many spells she plays. I'm going to mulligan this, because I don't know that I can reliably get her to cast a spell and give me my panther. This is actually really good. So, I'm going to do better than average at clearing out my hand here, actually. So, it's going to take a little longer for this hero power to kick in and start mulliganing, or not mulliganing, milling my cards. Okay, that's actually alright. That's okay as well. And that is also good. Five free damage. Well, maybe that's not the best. But could have been worse. Alright, we get a little competitive action going here. And I suppose as tempting as it is to play my pig, 
I mean, I might as well just use my mana as efficiently as possible. I'm going to start hitting her face. I'm just not crediting these roots as being able to do anything. Okay, this will be a little bit of reach toward the end. In case I need it. Okay, now here... I can play a couple of 2-2s, two or I can play a 4-2 that spawns a couple of 2-2s. Two well, or I can play the Animal Companion. Huffer's 4 damage, Leoc is 3 damage, Misha's just a 5-5. Five five. Alternatively, I can actually play two cards. Maybe I'll do this. Let's play two separate cards. Reduce how much I am milling, still put out a decent amount of power on the board, and still continue to crank out the damage. Okay, I get an extra Mana Crystal, which is nice. And then she's dealing trivial damage to me. Alright, so I don't actually have enough room to make use of all the dogs. Leoc would be really nice here now. Let's go for this. Not the worst one. Alright, I'm gonna play... Actually, none of these matter. They're all about attacking the hero. So, yeah. Unfortunately, they're all kind of wasted. But I win next turn. Alley Cat start with the competitive spirit eh, look at that secret robe eh, it was pretty good in fact I, I managed to avoid milling quite a few cards and that is the first minion who has died getaway kodo hilariously did not trigger because my hand is full so i couldn't actually get the minion into my hand and frothing berserker is a pretty nice flip on wandering monster but i didn't even need it because you know she's dead that was basically a free win. Okay, God. You know, I actually would like to see somebody other than King T You know what? No, 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 no! I'm, forget I said it. Forget I said it. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, I just have a superstition against saying that I hope I do or don't get this or that boss because I've just found that a lot of the times you get what you want and then you still lose. Okay. So Wish is what I had last time. I didn't draw it. So I can't say it let me down except for not appearing in my hand. Now, the... Hilt is obviously just the weakest of all of these, but, you know, in the short term, getting a minion plus three plus three lets me get a lot of damage output. And later in the game, while obviously not as good as fully healing me, it might still let me race out the victory. I'm going to do this. It may seem kind of crazy, but I feel like, you know, yes, you can wait for the wish, but if I can get this early enough, it might make a bigger difference. Okay, what do we got? Timberwolf's a nice little... Ah, uh, I would have taken this, but this stuff is terrible really bad okay so snake trap is good those are all two twos this is actually decent for some removal well so what's over here some kind of defensive removal crap all right taking some more secrets oh it is king taco waggle lord on a pony oh geez okay well i'm not 100 percent confident since i just lost to him in the last run you know not that that gets to a man's soul but this is seemingly a pretty good deck. Obviously, Capture the Flag is good. Not Capture the Flag, Captured Flag is good. Deadly Shot, I don't think, is actually that good. He tends to put a bunch of crappy minions out. Now, Catrick I will keep, because a lot of the treasures do... are, are basically spells. So I'm, I'm happy to have this and get a 2-mana 5-3, basically. Okay, let's take a look at my secrets here. Snake is good. Ice Barrier is bad. Catrick, I already have a Catrick. Well, that's okay. That's fine. We'll play the Mad Scientist then. It's a nice little 3-3 for 2 mana, you know. Fair and all. Uh-huh. Too bad I didn't get this last time. That would have been 2 extra damage. Well, actually 4 extra damage before I can finally play it. Party Portal. I don't think that's actually worth killing, so I'm not going to kill it. I'm going to hold off on the pig again. I'm going to play this. All right, let's see what you got there, King Toggle Woggle. Don't damage me too much, please. Ah, okay. So he gets to clear my board here completely. Um, it does sort of suck. This is not a time I would have liked for him to get this, unfortunately. Because he can clear everything out, and he does take some damage for it. Well, I guess I do get all these snakes. I don't know. Maybe that's not so bad. He does take a bunch of damage. I do get all these snakes and that, that snake trap that I started the game with for free. 
And I'm assuming he's going to kill my mad scientist. Unless, of course, he deliberately avoids it and only goes after the snakes. Okay, looks like that is what he's doing, actually. Alright, I guess it could have been worse. I did a bunch of damage to him. I've got 10 damage on the table. I can do more now. Ooh, that's a nice one. So, okay. Let's, let's go for it. I know that this is a little risky. Because, of course, you could play, like, the candle or the thing that clears your board. But, you know, I can refill with this Snapjaw. I've got these, which are sort of minions. Alright, he gets this free damage to random enemy. So, yeah, I'm hoping he doesn't have the candle. That's the one mana flame strike. And I'm hoping he doesn't have the wand that deals three damage across the board. Okay. Oh, that's actually really annoying. Ooh. So, he's a 313. You know what, though? I think I'm just going to try to race against it. Yeah, that's going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to race against it. I'm just going to let him have his 3-8. And, yeah. So, I think... I think this is a time that it's worth missing a... Steady Shot. I really want to develop those secrets because I want um, to get these minions. One of whom can clear out this party portal that's causing me some amount of grief. And one of which gives me a stealth creature. So he gets a bunch of booms, which means I get my cat trick. I'm not super thrilled that he got a charge creature. Alright. Got a cobra, which is good. Okay. So how's this going to go down? Is he going to take the time to kill the cobra to protect his party portal? Looks like that is exactly what he's doing. Hmm. Oh, jeez! Well... I mean, I guess it could be worse. I He has more minions, so I got the better end of that deal, I guess. All right. Let's think. Mm, do I just keep racing? He's got 4, 5, 10 damage. I have 3, 5, 9 damage. I'm actually ahead of him on health. He does have treasures that can really screw me. Like, if he gets the wand that silences and destroys all your minions, that would be bad, of course. Okay, let's do a little bit of a slow burn. Let's see where these bombs go. Okay, it's not exactly what I would have liked to see there. If I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I could now throw those in. Ah, it doesn't work out very well. Stupid ice barrier. Okay, I'm going to steady shot and go for the face. I have a shifting hourglass in here for an extra turn. I have... Just my steady shot, which is going to keep doing damage. Thank you. He doesn't have the wand. Does he have the candle? Okay, it looks like I got lucky and he didn't get the candle. This started... I started the game with it, and unfortunately it's a bit of a waste. Doesn't really do much, other than I guess provide me with some small amount of insurance. Alright, I'm kind of glad this isn't a wish, honestly. I'm pretty happy just to get ahead in the race with an earlier treasure. So I need seven more steady shots to win. Let's see if he can clear my board. He again is looking for that wand. Looks like he didn't find it. He got this, which I'm actually fine with because he's gonna have to take damage killing my minions. Ooh, that is annoying. I want it to hit my face and of course it didn't. Didn't hit my face even once. Nice. Okay, well we got a bear trap. And we got a wandering monster. Whoa, that guy's big. Wait, Inspire, return this to your hand. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Well, he's going to have to take some damage if he wants to kill this. It's going to be seven damage to clear these guys out. Is he going to do it? He's not. All right. Well, that's fine. So actually, can I win? What is this? Three, five, nine. I can take him down to one health. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a different tack. I'm going to play Kathrena here. The reason for that is if I play the Hounds, I want it to be to kill him. I don't think he's going to have taunts except for that co mm, You know what? That's a mistake. He does have a taunt. He has that kobold that he could get, the 6-6 six, six taunt for three mana. If he gets that, then my dogs don't get through it. So maybe I should have taken my dog damage while I could. Anyway, he's clearly top decking to try to win. Oh, man, I am so lucky. I am so lucky he did not get that earlier, because earlier that would have been a house. But as it is, we fight!
finally did it! Oh my god, I'm so happy. It's over. It's done. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. And I don't know what I'm going to do now that I've done all of this. But I'm sure I'll be doing something. And when I do, I'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Wow, that's nice of you to say. That's very nice. Just shy of 100 bosses defeated. Okay, see you guys soon.